Hey guys, so I'm going to cook today. So I was at Walmart and I saw these chickens, the rotisserie chicken, and this lady was looking around for the chicken and the chicken looked good and she said it was really good. And I was like, okay. She said you could do a lot with it. Then she said, you can put, make it into flatters. Um, I love flautas. Flautas is my favorite Mexican dish. So, she told me what to do. I'm putting my twist to it. We're going to see if I can do it. And I'm using my ninja foodie to air fry it. Because I don't use oil. Y'all know that? And I'm going to use my Power XL, which I don't think y'all can see it. That is my Power XL. And I'm going to use that to, you know, heat up the, the tortillas. And this chicken is from Walmart. It's from Walmart. Cooked, ready to go. I'm not touching it. I'm putting my twist to it. So I have my chicken. I have two picks that she told me. I got some flour, uh, tortillas, flour, butter, my butter. And I love Mexican blend cheese. And <clears throat> I got my season blend. We're gonna try this stuff. We're gonna we're gonna try some things. Can we? Can we try some things? Let's try some things. All right. So if you don't know, um, because I have not. I don't think I'm gonna post this today. I have stuff already that I've already been cooking besides my chili one that y'all seen already. I was just waiting because I'm right now I'm doing my cruise vlogs. Uh, so right now I'm buttering the um, the pan. So even though it's a nonstick, I'm just doing that because I want to. This was frozen. This this season blend. I'm gonna put this in the tortilla. I mean, the flautas. I'm trying things. It's my first time. We'll see how it goes. We're going to learn it. I didn't YouTube it or how to do it. The lady kid told me, put this chicken in there to heat up the tortilla. And put a toothpick. I'm figuring out the rest. We're going to find out. So, I'm turning that on. While that is on, I'm trying to get hot. I'm going to move this to the side. My Power Excel works as a skillet, and it is a, it's a skillet. Let me plug it in so you can see it. So the Power Excel. Bend down so they can see you, baby. Let's see. Don't know if you can still see it. There we go. So the Power Excel air fries. Slow cook, steam, saute, grill, bake, roast, rice, simmer, sous vide, fry, and it keeps it warm. I use it for the slow cook and for the fry, the saute. So it doesn't take it but a hot second, which I should have just used that. Why didn't I use that? You know what? Duh. I still gotta wash that dish now anyway. Mm -mm -mm. I should have just did that. Oh shoot. This ain't clean. Ah! I'm right back. <laughs> Alright, I washed my power still. I'm gonna turn on salty. I always keep it at the 350 for 35 minutes. Because you could turn it off, you could turn it up. Um, so I'm gonna put some butter in here, which I'm gonna put butter on the tortillas anyways. But before I put that seasoned blend in there, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna let that melt a little bit. I'm gonna get this chicken. My hands are clean. I'm 
going to cut it up. I saw there's so much juice in here, which is absolutely lovely. I don't want to. I don't want to like lose the juice. It's, it's gonna spill on here. All right, I'm gonna keep this juice. Let's put it to the side right now. Got the little string on it to keep it together. All right. Garbage. I'm gonna put in there, but there's a lot of it, so. I know, I wash my hands way too much. Actually, I'm going to use a fork to hold that. There we go. So, let me cut this. And I really don't care what pieces, because I'm going to, whatever I don't use, I'll take the rest of it. And, um, put it in a Ziploc bag and do something with it later. So, I should put a label because I made some chicken, which y'all see that video. Um, but it's only a small piece of this, so I might notice the difference. But I made some chicken um, about four or five days ago. So that one. Excuse my cutting, okay? Y'all, I ain't a cook like that. I just gotta cook for myself. And I ain't the best with, cut, with cutting. Never have. I've been horrible cutting my whole life. So, excuse my cutting, okay? I'm gonna get me a plate. So, actually, yeah. So, after I cut some pieces, my hands are clean. And I get, y'all, I do not edit this. And I'm, and I'm going to take the skin off because I don't think the skin should be on the flotter. Should be in flotter. Um, but I'm going to uh, take out anything, all these other little extra pieces. It's probably going to be better with this white meat versus the other one. Cutting it up to where it's soft. I don't have one of those shredder things. I've bought those before. Those things that just pull it loose. Those things don't always work. Like that was just a waste of money. You know, I gotta clean that thing every time. Yeah, that was a waste of money. So I'm probably gonna do one with dark meat since I got that dark meat back there, and then one with the white. Or not one. I'm gonna do. I'm going to make several of these. So this right here, 
I'm only trying to cook it to where it's not raw. This is the seasoned blend that's got um, a little bit more butter in it. Um, it's got celery, onion, green pepper, red pepper in it. Because I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to put it in the tortilla and put it in the air fryer. So it can cook it some more still. I still don't want it to be raw. I'm pretty sure I should shred it more than I am, but I'm okay with it not being shredded in a whole lot. Shred it a little bit more in a second. I'm this chicken looks a hot mess. Blow it up. <laughs> Blow, you know, look at this on a television or something. <laughs> so you can see, <laughs> zoom in. Like, you really can't cut. <laughs> skin. Oh my gosh. I'm going to eat this skin once I'm done taking out the meat off. Has anybody else made flautas before? Please put it in the comments. You've made it before. Have you done it in an air fryer type of device? Um, what do you put in your, in your mix? Uh, since you're here, let me introduce myself. I just came straight in talking about the cooking. You saw a picture of the cooking and you was like, hey, what you cooking? So my name is Marinda, AKA I love Cruising Royal. This one of my art shirts. I like Cruising Royal. My mom made this shirt for me uh, two years ago. So I am a cruise blogger. I go on cruise ships and share what the experience is like. All right. Mm. And share what the experience is like from a solo cruiser point of view. Most of the time, I'm by myself. I did cruise with my ma in April on the Independence of the Sea. I did cruise with my friend T on the Odyssey. Besides that, it's just me. So, um, in September, oh, before we talk, finish talking about this cruising, guys, I've been nominated for a YouTube award, a Meet and I YouTube award. I am beyond thrilled, honored, excited. Um, I won last year solo traveler channel and i'm super excited to be in the nominees again i just don't want this to be Sorry. i gotta clean this i'll be right back all right, I cleaned that. I also moved the chicken. This is just the juice I'm pouring in juice on there, yes. And I cleared off a um, little cutting plastic so I can roll these tortillas. So, 
I would think you would be better to put the bread, to put the butter on this tortilla. But that's not how I'm gonna do it. I am going to put butter in here. And which I don't even think you had to put butter on there, but it's only trying to get it warm. So I'm not even going to make sure it fully covers. So we're gonna start with four. And she said it just needs to get warm so it can uh, grow. So I'm just gonna let it get warm. That's it. Maybe putting all four wasn't a good idea. Maybe it was. So I'm just gonna keep flipping this so it won't burn. And that way the other one, the other piece that was on top would get hot. Like I said, I'm trying this, experiencing it in front of you. First time. So we're seeing. I'm not really going for, oh, it's gotta get toasted or whatever. I'm not really doing that per se. Okay? So just want them to get warm. I feel like I need another dish. I have all these dishes I'm gonna have to clean. Because I don't want it to bu bubble. Because I'm we're not trying to do that. We're just trying to make it warm. That's it. Just trying to make it warm so that way I can roll it. So I'm going to hit cancel to turn this off. Alright. So now, this is the basket. Let me bring you closer now. Now we're done with the power exhale. This is the basket that I'm going to put the tortillas in. <clears throat> Slippery little thing. <laughs> like um, Julia Roberts. <laughs> now that I just remember and do not trip on it. Okay. So, we're doing... I'm gonna grab a tortilla. So the authentic way to do it is cheese goes on top, not in the inside. I love cheese in the inside. I always ask them to do it when I get a flauta. If they will, they will do it. I always have cheese in the inside. Philly cheese stick. Anything gotta have cheese, I really want you to mix the cheese inside, please. So, um, oops. I'm gonna drip some of this on there so you still have some of that juice. I am not editing this video, I don't edit my cooking video. Give it to you the way it is. So, there we go. Got it. Oh, good. You flip it. That should be off. All right. So, we're going to grab something. Actually, we're going to put them all up there. Or at least two of them. And then we'll grab some of that little. Dark meat on this one. And white meat, this one. Use my hands now. Hands clean. That's enough of that season blend. Definitely gonna do more with the 
white and you have three white Actually, not put this on some of them, but now it and did it, so I'll go ahead and keep doing it. And I'm not. This is. I don't eat these types of vegetables unless I'm making chili. Excuse me. I'm making cheese. If I'm making chili, then I put that in there. But chili. Um, I think if I make a dressing, if I make the Thanksgiving dressing, I'm not sure still, then, um, I'll put it in there. All right. That's probably too much cheese. Like I said, we are learning this together, y'all. Got this, I think it's called a tostada. I think it's kind of looking like a tostada. I hope it'll even bend for a roll, is the word, right? So, I thought of this and I forgot to take it out. I wanted to try one with barbecue sauce on it. So, I know, I know, I know. We're trying this together, y'all. That's what's happening. We are experiencing this together. Here we go. Now, rolling it up time. Oh, yeah, this is way too big. Or, I got too much in it, so I got to squish it. Make it tight. Oh, yeah. So, push this stuff in the middle more so it's not on the edges. It's gonna be a fat tortilla. <laughs> Probably have to put this toothpick in two spots. So, so add it in there. Okay. <laughs> Definitely needed the toothpicks for what I'm doing on here. I need one more toothpick. The one that fell on the floor. <laughs> So, all right, I told you guys that I'm nominated for a YouTube award. Let me tell you what's, what is happening on my channel now. So, I am a cruise blogger. I think I said that. So, in September, I went on a cruise hopping experience. So, I went from cruise to cruise to cruise. So I did two back-to-backs. I did a back-to-back -back on Navigator of the Seas. So I left here on the first and flew out to Los Angeles. First time. I do have my Los Angeles experiences on my channel now on YouTube. Check that out. Uh, I went to see the, the Walk of Fame, the, the stars. That was so, so cool. So I did, um, so I left, went on Navigator C on the first, I'm sorry, the second, and I was on there from the second to the sixth, and then the sixth to the 13th. Then I left there and flew to Tampa, 
and got on the grander of the seas. That was like one of the first Royal Caribbean ships, 1996. I did five days on that ship. Then I took a train from Tampa to Orlando. So the next day I could go on the very newest, the newest cruise ship for Royal, Utopia of the Seas. And I did a three and a four day on that one. 27 days of traveling, a total of 23 days of cruising. That series started last Wednesday. So as of now, there is going to be a video every day in November, up until December 3rd. There's a video every day, either it's a video or short. So I do day one, part one. Can I wash my hands again? I do day one, part one, and day one, part two. And then I give you guys my version of a ship tour called What I Thought Tour, the casino tour. Um, You'll get those also. So, just the basket. Now, technically, it does not need any oil when you use the air fryer. I'm gonna squirt it with this that got has some oil in it. I'm gonna put it, um, put it in. Well, actually, no. Let's do a small squirt. Small squirt. So those videos started on um, last week. So when those videos started, I'm trying to put it in here. Let me see. Oh, it can fit in here without it breaking. They're so big. I definitely did that part wrong. Well, I guess I don't know if I want to say the word wrong. There might not be a wrong or right on here. This is an experiment. Dog got it. Alright. I'm going to put this in my ninja cookie. I'm turning it on. Closing my lid. Putting it on air crisp. I'm turning it to 350. I ain't playing with this thing. I'm going to put it for the time of eight minutes. And I'm going to do four minutes each side. Maybe three minutes each side. We're going to find out. Alexa, set timer three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Alexa, set timer four minutes. Second timer, four minutes, starting now. There we go. So that way I can check it at the three and take it out on the four. All right, back to what I was telling you about my channel. So I did the, um, I did all this cruising and I, that started on last week. And please check it out. It's uh, right now Navigator the Seas is what's playing right now. Um, there's a playlist that, uh, called Hey Guys. The series is called Hey Guys on Cruise Hopping. Are you watching? I hope you are. <laughs> so check it out. Go do the voting. I'm going to put the link on here for the voting for the Meet and I. I'm posting this today so that way y'all can vote because the voting ends on Friday. Isn't Friday the 16th? I don't know. Alexa, what day is the 16th on? The next occurrence is Friday, December 
comes at the 16th, the Saturday, November 16th, 2024. It's actually Saturday, but do it by Friday, because we want to make sure, we want to make sure. Vote for I Love Cruise and Royal. It's going to be a blue logo. My my channel don't don't look like that. That's my logo right there. So, check it out. I hope you are going to like my channel. And, um, I'll be back with the four minutes. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, Alexa said beat. <laughs> Alexa beat. So, let's... Oops, sorry. Open it up. Can you see it? See it? Can you see it? Alright. So, I don't believe that's good enough. So, I don't even want to flip it. And I don't think I'm going to flip it at all anyways. I think I'm going to let it go for the extra four minutes just as it is. So, we're going to find out. Because it's an air fryer, so it should be, it gets all around. Alright. I'll be back when it's done. Let's see if that eight minutes is okay. I hope it goes alright. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. I'll be back. Alright, let me show you what it has so what it looked like so far. That's what it looks like. And me with my cheese loving self. Wants to put some cheese on top, just for like a minute, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. Just hoping it, maybe it might make it look a little prettier. So whatever stays on it, because it's going to slide to the bottom. Let's see. Dude, y'all, I hope it tastes good. Oh my gosh. Did all that, wasted all that chicken. And then it don't taste good. I'm being mad. And myself, but you know. I'll let y'all know if it tastes good because I'm very honest. Also, I told you I'm a cruise vlogger. I do my version of my and now I'm starting to do this cooking. I think there's more. I have more coming. Um, and I do this silly singing in my car. And now that I'm here in Houston, this ATB uh, grocery store, they be playing the music while I'm out there ship shopping to make my money to pay the bills, to cruise, all of it. And um, yes, I'll be. Shopping and singing. <laughs> All right. One minute. I'm taking it off and putting it on the table and we finna taste it. I've been drinking Mountain Dew all day. So I'm not drinking Mountain Dew. What I am gonna drink Is this juice? I just bought. My sister got me on. Cause I ain't know about this juice.
can't even shake it. It's full. And I need to open it. I ain't gonna drink much. Wow, this drink is only good to do some, but it's gonna take me that I'm all to drink it. Take my barbecue, my water. All right, guys, let's look at it. Let's see how it looks. How that look to you? Huh? Look all right. All right. So, I'm going to get it on the plate, and I'm going to come over here and sit down. I'll be back when I have it on the plate at the table. We're going to taste it. Wish me luck. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. So, this is the final result. Yeah? Yeah? Kind of? I know we got to eat it to find out. So... I did. I googled how long does it need to be the air fry. So I added another like three minutes. Okay. So I did eight and three. Plus that one I did of extra cheese. So about 12, 13 minutes I did about something like that. Okay. So let's see. I'm nervous to take this to take it out. Okay, it didn't come off. Can I pick you up still? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I definitely needed these two picks. Thank you, Miss Lady. To the lady at the Walmart. Um, that saw that told me to do this. Thank you. All right. So here's the moment y'all been waiting for. Let's see how it tastes. And I don't know which one is which. I didn't position. Oh, well, this one has barbecue sauce on it. So I know that one is, that one, I believe, I hope that one's not the, I think that one is, um, the white meat. I had two white and one one um dark meat all right so this is i don't know but here we go i'm gonna taste all of them here we go Hmm. A lot of chewing. So that's white meat. I do feel white meat has a hard time of having good seasoning to it. It just don't keep seasoning. Like, we need a whole lot more of that juice than what was left in that bag for the white meat part of it. But, it's not bad. Let's try the one with the barbecue sauce. I don't know if it's dark meat or not. Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. So it is white meat. Barbecue sauce helps. It helps. It gives it some um, more juice, more flavor. I feel like I'm playing that game with the cups. 
Which was which? Tell me which one. Which one is the one that is determined? <laughs> I think this is white meat too. I'm definitely gonna put some barbecue sauce and dip it in there. I normally use something anyways with flautas, but I don't think I could tell. Ah, no, maybe this is it. This looks kind of like it's darker. Mm-hmm. That's the dark meat. It's just more flavor to it. But I believe you're supposed to make flotsas with white meat. So I'm gonna um, add my dipping sauce. And um, yeah, I'm about to eat. They probably pretty big. But I'm about to eat them because uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is I've been cooking some flautas. If you made it this far and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I'm just saying this thing has got to be 30 some minutes, if not 40. And you made it this far. Please put in the comment. I made it this far. And you hit the subscribe button, okay? Turn on that notification bell. Most likely it's gonna be cruise vlogs. But I will put out some of my cooking. I have like three other ones I have done. I'm not putting those out for a while. We got my cruise in right now. I'm doing that. I am posting the Navigator of the Seas from my Hey Guys on Cruise Hopping. Are you watching? And don't forget to vote for me on the Meet and I Awards. I'm going to have it in the bottom of this on this description. Solo Traveler Channel. And put in people's choice. Why not? I appreciate it. I didn't win last year. I don't have my trophies right here with me. But it's in the video. I'll put the video in here too. Uh, from the Meet and I Awards. How about that? Alright. I love you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my Houston experiences. <laughs>